Hey what's up you guys it's Bjorn from Jurassic Park Traps again and today I got a new update video for you guys and in this update video I will discuss two new subjects. Um, the first subjects will be the announcement of the hybrid projects the Hypro 1.0. It is my first hybrid project and in this project I'm going to try to breed a hybrid triops species. The second subject is that I did an experiment with the hatching water. Uh, it was a frequently uh, upcoming question of the customers and some of the viewers of the Triassic Park trials videos. So I actually did a little experiment and it actually worked. So I actually got some new news about a new water source that we can try and use for our breeding setups. Um, first I will have a look with you guys at the hatchery and explain a little bit what's going on over here. Um, the question that came up quite often was is it possible to hatch triops on molten snow? So some people are living in areas that are um, covered by a lot of snow and uh, they actually don't get a lot of rain. So uh, I was getting this question quite a lot, like um, you were talking a lot about collecting rainwater, but the problem is there isn't any rain coming anytime soon. So can I use some snow perhaps? If I just let it melt down a little bit and um, warm it up a bit, can I use it as hatching water? But I actually was not completely sure until some snow appeared in my country. So I actually collected some snow from a table. Um, I really wanted to be sure that I didn't collect any polluted snow. Like for example, if you would take some snow that is like from next to the road, it might actually have some oils or other pollutants in collect of an inside it. And it is actually not a good source to use for hatching setup so what i did is take some snow from a table that is far above the ground and um, that seemed to me like the most safest way to collect some snow um, then i just let it melt down a bit over the night and then i actually had some clear water um, i run it through a filter as well like a little um, like similar to a coffee filter but it's a well, it was fine enough to actually remove the debris that was uh, inside the snow. Um, and then I actually used some Triops granarius eggs. So my plan is to first um, breed a nice group of Triops granarius and actually try to um, make some footage of their mating behavior so that I actually know what the mating behavior will look like when I'm trying to uh, pair a Triops granarius with a Triops cancroformis lineage. But the new thing about this is that in the previous videos, I actually had species that were hermaphrodites. And basically that means that they actually have um, female body types, but they also have the male body parts that are possible able to fertilize the eggs. So what uh, they are capable of is basically developing their own eggs inside the egg sacs and fertilizing themselves with their male body parts. So the different thing with these two trout species that I'm going to use for the hybrid projects is that they are gonochoric, which means that they actually have a male body type and a female body type, and both body types are needed to reproduce and, well, one half lays the eggs and the other half has to fertilize the eggs. So my question always was, if I get two species that are uh, gonochoric, is it possible to actually, um, you know, to mix them up and get a hybrid triop species? Then, if I get a kind of new triop species, is it possible to selective breed it out to a uh, stronger, possibly longer living triop species as well? And so on. So, uh, I actually had a lot of questions coming up uh, all by myself and, um, well, a lot of customers and a lot of uh, viewers also ask this question. Uh, I am also uh, active on a lot of forums and some people actually tried it previously but when I tried to look for some answers I actually didn't get too much answer so that's basically why I thought maybe it is a good idea to find it out myself and um, basically I can only prove things um, that I have seen not what I have read or heard from somebody else so that's what I'm going to do next um, 
I wanted to show you uh, as well as well the uh, announcement post that I posted on my Instagram account. Um, let me get the tablet. Um, this is the announcement post. Here you can see what I'm going to uh, mix up together. It is the um, hybrid project Hypro 0.1. It's going to be an Eurasian hybrid. Um, it's because the uh, Conocoric Cancroformis lineage is from Europe. And the Conocoric Granarius uh, species is also from Europe, but it originates from Asia. So it is kind of a species that actually kind of traveled uh, from Asia towards Europe and is now uh, living in several continents. So um, I thought that this uh, particular species was really interesting to uh, have inside the project because this is a trout species that was doing well on several continents. So it, I thought it was actually pretty, um, how to say, mm, you know, it was a good pick because it's able to live in several different climates, I guess, because it's living on several continents um, or world parts. I don't know how to call it. I'm sorry, guys. Um, and um, the other conocoric cancroformis lineage is a European species. And um, because these species are both capable of living in the European region, um, I thought it was um, possible that these lineages uh, might be like similar or had a similar past, maybe. So I thought that these species would be good picks to try it with the hybrid project. So that's basically where my idea came from. And um, I would like to take you guys up into this adventure and um, update some more posts about it in the future. And, um, well, let's see if it is possible to actually breed a hybrid triops. So I'm going to turn off the tablet and we're going to have a look at the hatching tank. <laughs> um, currently, I still have these awesome um, albino canker farmers in the hatching tank uh, I'm breeding some eggs over here because um, my actually my stock run out so it was time to actually get some new eggs they are doing really fine munching on the filter rather it is collecting some debris and some of their molds um, you can actually decide to leave the molds inside your tank because tree ups will feed on them um, it is basically a uh, food source that is um, made of um, well let's say themselves and some people would like to say uh, you are what you eat so basically this is like a little circle uh, what they eat is made of triop skin, so it's possibly definitely good minerals for them to reuse again. So, pretty neat little recycling creatures over here. And um, I also found out that the Amano shrimp also uh, eat the trout skins, and the trout actually eat the Amano shrimp skins. So, uh, it's kind of like they do a little um, skin exchange where they eat their each of their um, the others uh, skins um, so usually I just leave them inside the tank but when they start to clog up the filter I try to remove them a little bit or I just move them to another part of the tank and basically they will be able to munch on it a little bit so next up is um, well, when I was talking about the hybrid project, we were watching a little bit at the hatching container up in, up in this tank. Um, I was hatching them in snow water like I told you guys before and we are able to see some uh, Granarius, Triops Granarius Nopoli over here. A little one swimming in the back. I'm not sure if you guys can see him. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's behind the plant right now. Oh, there he is again. <laughs> Well, he's pretty active for a Nopoli already. So, I could say he's doing really great. There he is, again. Um, I thought I spotted about six, but the common thing with traps is that they actually do hatch in waves. So it is possible that um, like the first one hatch at nine o'clock and three hours later at 12 o'clock, they are hatching some new ones again. And later that day at three o'clock, they are hatching another little group of traps. It is possible. Usually they hatch in little waves. Um, 
simply you should not expect them to hatch all at once it's just a natural process some eggs just take a little bit longer um, i always uh, call them the early hatchers and the late hatchers and you can definitely see a little bit of difference where the first hatchers are actually almost fully developed into the triops form uh, it usually takes four days and about four stages to for them to reach their um, final triops form um, these stages are called the metron metanopoly stage metanopoly stage or something and um, these stages contain out, uh, four stages where they need to develop themselves so um, if you have the first hatchers like on the first day and some late hatchers on the fourth day there will be some uh, size differences but it is nothing too big to be worried about so I would just worry if like um, trials would be 12 days old and then some Napoli are hatching um, you can expect them to not survive inside a little hatching container like this because they will end up as uh, adult food live food um, I've also had a question uh, where people asked is it possible to feed uh, triops Napoli to uh, juvenile triops um, it is possible I guess but it is um, kind of weird because it is kind of cannibalistic to do that you're basically feeding them their siblings so um, I never actually did that so uh, I'm not completely sure what my answer would be um, you could try it out um, but it kind of is the same like with um, Artemia Nopoli you can also get yourself some uh, Artemia Nopoli and use these as live food as well at least uh, they are not eating their own species you know and uh, they definitely like the Artemia Nopoli as well um, so basically guys that's it I guess so you guys know that I am going to start with the hybrid projects right now um, first step like I state, said is stage one it is breeding some granarius uh, I actually want to video and try to capture the mating behavior so I know what to look for when I'm going to try to cross them and then we have a little dating show with tribes and uh, try to get a, a nice match and uh, then we will get some eggs hopefully and if these eggs are fertile we should see some Napoli uh, inside the hatching container again and uh, I really hope that they will come in the future and I hope you guys will be there to watch it so stay tuned guys if you didn't subscribe to me yet feel free to subscribe to the YouTube channel and um, yeah I hope to see you guys in the future have a nice day see you next time